Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing and yeah, kind of at a secret location here just a little bit. I don't know if anybody ever heard about this place, but uh, is this is called the Floodgates, yeah. Captain Charles says, keep it down. <laughs> yeah, this that's called a, a Floodgate right there, I guess, right there. And um, we're over here near the Texas City Dyke, so um, if you're familiar with this area, that is where we're at. Out here is Moses Lake. Some birds out here working. We have great tide moving through. Just a lot of current moving through. So I'm not too sure um, how sticky and hangy it's gonna be. I did buy some live shrimp. Charles has crab. And uh, we're gonna try to fish a little bit over here today. We've had a lot of strong winds and the water levels were high too. You know, all that south strong winds pushes the water level up. So. Not really too many places you can go uh, when the wind's gusting around 20 to 30. Um, right now it's not too bad. This morning wasn't too bad. Overnight it was about 13 miles an hour, but it's going to kick up here in a little bit. So it helps keep the mosquito off. Uh, don't forget, I did start a Patreon. So my Patreons already know about this fishing report and already know how this day went. Because I do post fishing reports on there. I post lens and clips and posts daily. Um, Footage that gets undeleted, it's uh, deleted scenes, footage that never gets shown, all that good stuff's on there. So if you want more Texas all water fishing content, then you click on that, click on the link in the description section, and hopefully you can catch us hooking up. I'm gonna get rigged up and get going. All right, so we brought a couple different setups this morning. Uh, big spoon on that guy. That is tight line braid. I'm really, really loving this braid. I'm probably gonna change all my stuff over to it. And, uh, a little bit of a cork here. Got about 18 inches of leader line on it. And uh, I'm gonna grab one of these big shrimp. I remember to bring my net, my dip net, and then I forgot to bring it down here. So it's with us in spirit. It's actually at the truck. See all the birds out there, and I'll try to cast out there and see what they're they're hanging out with you got to be extremely careful around the floodgate i'm going to start by saying that you're going to get in the water kayak around it what have you be very very careful current it, the current is strong even if it doesn't look strong it is very strong so be very careful out here all right so i put a split shot on a minute ago and i think it was just too heavy it just sunk way down straight down and I got hung up in somebody's line and I broke off on the rock. So, uh, 40 pound leader line. This is 30 pound tight line braid. Let's put a straight J hook on there, a little bait saver J hook. Free line this shrimp. We're gonna see, hopefully I can get it out further enough. That's why I can put that split shot on there. Just kind of help me cast. Hopefully I can get it out further enough away from these rocks, so. Barely out there, but we'll see. Hopefully he swims and does his thing and try to uh, try to bring me a fish. Alright, I'm just kind of being silly. But hey, um, yeah, so today's trip, it was, I hate using the word bust, but 
You know, Charles got one. Charles got one bite, I think. I didn't get I didn't get anything. You know, I had some nice shrimp. We got some big old shrimp. Big shrimp. So if you're looking to go in somewhere, I advise you to go to Boyd's. They had some nice big shrimp. Perfect shrimp for those big speckled trout, man. You know, I wish that the water was cleaner. I wish it was clear. Probably would have seen um, some real fish activity around the area. You know, it just it was just weird. You know, there were those across from us, so I couldn't I couldn't reach it with the cast, but across from us, those a little bit eddy. Um, that side was the windblown side, and uh, looked like there was a little eddy going on there, and there probably was that probably was holding some fish. But you know, we fished on the bottom. I fished with the cork. I even made my my lure my leader longer and fished with a longer leader um, through some spoons. We fished all around that area. If you're not familiar with the floodgate, um, we fished all around the area, and with high winds forecasted today now they really never came i mean it was still windy it was about 17 miles maybe 18 19 but they, we were expecting some really really high winds over 20 maybe in the mid 20s it was a gust uh they really never showed up or they hadn't showed up yet um but yeah expecting that there's not a lot of areas you can go that aren't going to be wind blown so when you do have a south wind or you have a southeast wind like we did today that whole side of the levee near the floodgates is going to be pretty much protected. It's also a great place to put a kayak into. You just have to walk up and down the slope of the levee there. But yeah, it's a good place to fish. Um, I really, really never killed it. I had some good days there um, pre-YouTube. And I know people still go there and they, they'll do good. People have good days there. Yeah, to me, it's a it's a hit and miss. Um, it always has been for from, from myself. Today was definitely a miss. But like I said, um, it was weird because, you know, we had a, a low tide and an incoming tide. But because the water got pushed so hard from all the strong winds all week and the winds kind of dissipated, then the winds uh, weren't blowing as hard overnight and into the morning. So you had a lot of that, a lot of the higher water levels going out. So you had a incoming tide, but because the water was dropping, you really had an outgoing tide. So it was kind of tricky right there. <laughs> It was kind of tricky today, but that whole area all the way down. I talked to Eric this morning in east, the east end where the chip channel is. It's completely dirty. The 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 seawall, all the ocean, it's it's all dirty from my understanding. So with all the rough, with all the rough uh, surf that we had, it's really stirred everything up. But you know, I just want to make this just a quick fishing report for you guys. You know, uh, no fish caught. You know, I apologize if they're not there. They're not there. But the good lesson that I did learn today uh, and to share with you is if you're looking for some really, really big shrimp, I mean, big table size shrimp, uh, call Boyd's, see if they have any uh, still because they had some monster today, monsters today. And if you have the right conditions to underneath the causeway in the boat or even a kayak, you put some of those big shrimp on and man, they're just going to love it. But yeah, we tried freelining shrimp and that current was so strong. Uh, again, we tried shrimp on the bottom, and again, that current was strong and drug it all on the rocks. Charles was fishing with crab, but he didn't get anything. Some other guy that I talked to was fishing with cut cut bait, and he wasn't getting anything at the dike, so he came further down. And we, we could have hit the dike, we could have fished the dike, but instead we went out and had um, had breakfast. So, you know, it's always fun hanging out with your friends and and, have, and fishing and, and and eating and just hanging out but we had a good time i hope you guys did too and i apologize you know i wish there was more i wish there was some fish to show for the day but i thought i'll just make this a quick fishing report for you all if you have a chance to get out please get out uh stay safe out there stay out of the wind as much as possible you know like i said we had opportunity to go out this morning so we did didn't pan out the way we wanted to but hey that is fishing right guys but thanks, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. Thanks for my regular viewers and subscribers. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget, join me on Patreon. Link in the description section of that. Until next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up.